Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. My name is Brian, I'm here with my sister Deanna today. We're gonna to be building a clothing rack, costume rack kind of thing. We got the inspiration from this uh, rod that was in a closet for hang a hanger rod. And we got some of this one inch square tube because I over engineer things, that's what I do. And we're gonna build this. It's gonna come apart into four pieces. We've got the steel. We need to get some wheels and some bolts and stuff. So let's go get that. So we got these wheels, nice clear wheels. We got uh, brakes for two of them. The other ones don't need brakes. Uh, this, they're a little overrated. They're rated for 200 pounds, which is not going to do. But I don't know. You could get on this and ride it if you wanted to. It'll be a fun little cart. So let's get to cutting some steel. Okay, so I over-engineer stuff. So I've got my design here, of, uh, one inch square tube. It's pretty much a general. It's just a, a rack. Got the wheels extra bracing and this thing is going to come apart into four pieces so the top bar is going to come off and these two side pieces are going to come off so it can be moved more easily kind of got a general and if you want to see it it's going to bolt together bolt together okay to cut this out just using a, a cheap harbor freight uh chop saw Cutting out the bottom pieces, we need two feet long because we've got the wheels already attached to. Parts cut out, got the uprights, and these little pieces. So on the base, these two pieces are going to bolt together so they can come apart. This is me the bottom, and then the top's going to come straight up from here. So I'm going to mark centers here, yeah, and I'm going to find a good spot and just drill a hole straight through both of these for the bolts before we build it up, just to make the drilling a little easier. Okay, so we've got bolt lines, center lines. I'm gonna head over to the drill press, drill to the small one, clamp it to the big one, drill through. Pretty straightforward. Found the pilot hole. All right, so now I'm putting in the 5 16 drill bit. I'm gonna widen out those holes to proper size and then transfer them onto the, the other pieces. Holes work, they bolt together. Now it's time to weld these pieces onto those pieces. Okay, now it's time to cut an arc, uh, kind of cut a, a half circle into this piece of steel so we can fit the Take the round piece and sink it into the square piece. Center punch. And to do the drilling, got just a, a step bit here. It's the only thing I had that went up to an inch. Okay. Get some cutting oil. Well, actually, it's just motor oil. Let's start cutting. Not the cleanest hole, but we can make it work. Okay, so now I got a hole in the end, and I want to just gonna chop this hole in half so we give this a nice little arc. So I'm just gonna bring back the chop saw. Okay, so now I've got this little arc in the hole. If it's pretty close, I'll get it down close with a file and a grinder but it's just be bolted on there, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now it's time for a bit of welding. I just wanna show this off real quick. I thought my cheap Harbor Freight welding mask was a little boring, so I painted it like Iron Man, because I'm an engineer, so that makes him my favorite superhero. And it already kind of looked generally like Iron Man, that's where I got the idea. I had another one of these. So I do not have footage of me making that. But 
Okay, so I'm going to start with the bottom. Uh, my sister, she's going to weld part of the other one. She doesn't want to weld any critical welds because she's pretty new at it. But so I'm just going to take these little pieces, weld them in T's basically on either side. I've got, got some clamps to make sure it's a perfect 90. So I've got this clamped up in a T with centered. And I'm just going to weld across here, flip it, weld it there. Okay. Eyes. Okay, so we got this side on. I just have to do the same thing for the other side. Okay, my sister's gonna weld this piece now. This is her second time welding. I've taught her before. This is her first time welding any actual project. So let's see how it goes. Got this, this is the base. This is gonna bolt onto the uprights. Just need to hit this with the grinder, and then this is ready for paint. So now we got the uprights in. Got center, center lines marked. Get it in. Some of the welds might look lovely now, but it'll be ground. It'll look fine after. Okay, so we've got all the pieces welded up, roughly. It's time for the first test assembly. You can see, this is the face. It bolts on here. Oh, that's warm. Rough test fit. It's looking good. Now this pipe. Sit on top like that. Yay! We've got a clothing rack. Just need to put the wheels on. I'm actually I'm thinking now that it doesn't actually need any cross pieces. This thing, it feels pretty stable. And it's only holding clothes, so I think we're gonna leave off the cross pieces and save some time on the welding. So now we just need to work on this part right here. We're gonna grind everything. Grind this to make it fit better, because we weren't using exactly one inch bit because didn't have it and I've got a cool design where I'm gonna put a plate in here that's gonna be threaded and I have a bolt that goes straight down through the middle you'll see what it looks like I didn't film it because it took forever but so I welded this small piece in here and I'm gonna take I'm gonna drill and tap it so that this bolt can go through the, the circular rod and bolt into this so now I just got to drill this out tap it drill hole in the pipe and the top half is done okay so now I've got this inside drilled and tapped I've got a hole through the end of the pipe now it just threads together okay, it's getting a little dark out here I've got a light so you can still see so I've got most of the welding done I just need to I'm gonna weld up some caps on the ends of these so you don't see these ugly holes okay so I've moved inside because the light I had was not enough and it's getting dark but I want to keep going. So what I've done is I've cut out these little squares. Really roughly, it doesn't matter what dimensions they are exactly. I just cut a piece of this into about one inch sections and then cut all the corners off. I've got a bunch of these. And I'm just going to weld them right over the ends of all of these exposed edges. I'm just going to weld around the edge, grind it down, and it'll look like a nice end. This is probably some of the ugliest welding I've ever done because this area is so small that this welder, it's a cheap welder and there's not very much setting, very much you can do with the settings. So it's just dumping way too much heat in here. If I had a little uh, TIG welder or just a MIG welder with better or more fine tuned voltage controls, it'd be a lot, a lot neater. I've got all the caps on now. 
I've got to add the wheels. I'm just, I'm probably just gonna weld them on. That probably seems the simplest. I'm gonna have to do it very carefully though so I don't mess up the bearings or melt the wheels. I'm gonna let these cool down, find a nice spot, probably right about there. There's weld, weld across there, weld across there. And I'll get something to cover up the wheels while I'm actually attaching them. I've got the wheel placed and clamped and I've got this old like towel shirt thing piece of cloth wrapped around I'm just gonna weld across the top down the sides I'm gonna flip it weld the other side I've turned the welder down I'm gonna do one weld at a time very uh, as quickly as I can I'm gonna spray it down with water after each weld try and keep it cool so I don't damage the wheel and about the placement there are, I got two with brakes, two without brakes. I'm just putting one of each on each side. Doesn't really matter which side, because you can take this apart and just flip the sides around. So it's completely reversible, so you can have the brake ones on the same side or opposite sides. Don't know which one would be better yet. Really ugly welds, but I'm gonna hit it with the grinder. But it's unharmed. Still works fine. Got three more to do. Now I've got all the welding done for the entire thing. So it's time to grind, make all these welds look like they were done by someone who's been welding for their entire life. Unlike me, I'm a, I'm a pretty good welder, but I'm not that good. And some of these welds are kind of ugly. So we're gonna nice grind them flat. I mean, I'm going to go over the entire thing with a wire brush, get rid of the little bits of rust that are still on it. And it's time for paint. I've finished the grinding. So these areas are now flat and the edges are now rounded out looking a lot better still not perfect but with the paint you won't be able to tell at all some of these still have some surface rust on them and i'm so i'm just going to hit that with a, a wire brush on the angle angle grinder take that off and then come back in the morning and do the paint so here i've got a big wire brush on the angle grinder and use that to take the surface art, surface rust and any other imperfections right off Get ready for paint. So this is before you can see that rust on there. And then after, it just gives it a brushed look. It'll really take paint really nicely. Got these, all the parts welded, ground, partly masked off, gonna put a bag over the wheels. Got them hanging on this makeshift paint rack. So we can get the entire thing all in one go. We just got the paint shaken. And we're just thinking we give it a wipe down with mineral spirits, get rid of all the grease, bags of the wheels, and it's time to paint. Just giving it a wipe down to get all the grease off so the paint sticks better. And show the paper towel. Looks clean, but it isn't. Okay, so we don't waste tape that we don't have much of. Just gonna wrap the wheels a little bit of saran wrap. So I don't get the paint on him. There we go. Okay, it's time for paint. Last step. You ready for this? You can go faster than that. Brian, what yeah. you doing? I'm just making sure 
every spot is fully covered. I think we got most of it. We're in the final inspection. Whatever bird that is, it sounds like a like dying cat. Pretty much all that's left are the little edges that didn't quite get hit, you know? But it's also a little hard to see light being so bright. Oh, it's bright. <laughs> Got my aluminum shut, like, directing the sun straight in my face. I've got a whole bunch of aluminum right here, including some from the old Morrison Planetarium, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to be doing some projects from that soon. And by soon, I mean maybe this year. <laughs> Look at the pretty flower. Pretty, pretty. Not focused on it. Ah, there. Look at the pretty flower. So while we're here, why don't you check yourself out? Yeah. Me? Yep. Am I in the frame? Yep. Cool. I'm Deanna. I'm I'm his sister. Um, and I run a theater account, which you might be here from because I'm gonna talk about this video on it. It's called Every Theater Could Ever, and it's it's pretty fun. You should follow it. I think we've got it. Yay! Let this sit for maybe an hour or two, and then we can bolt it all together and we're done. Okay, see you in two hours. We're back! We, we switched places, okay. So it's about an hour, hour and a half later. It's dry enough that we can assemble it. There are still a few spots that missed paint, but we can hit those once it's assembled. Lift this up, and bolts on there. That dying cat bird is still going. I don't know if you can hear it on the video. Somewhere over there. Cool. Everything's a hammer, if you want it to be a hammer. Okay, so we got bottom bolted on, now it's time for the top rod. Just sits in little grooves. The bolt just goes through the top, there we go. And that just sits right into a, that little tapped hole in there. And there we go, in its final resting place, for now. Temporary resting place. Bam, it's in use. It seems to be holding, looks like it can handle three pieces of clothing, doesn't seem to be <laughs> Under any stress, looks like my over-engineering worked. This thing's capable of holding a couple hundred pounds. It's never gonna hold that much. We'll see. Okay, so it's done. Got this bolted on nicely. It's pretty solid. There's a little bit of twist on the base, but that'll be fixed once I put enough weight on it. So if you liked that video, hit the like button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. You can follow me on Instagram at Into the Woodshop. You can follow her at Every Theater Kid Ever. And if you want to see more build videos like this, yeah, just subscribe. I've got cool stuff coming up. Welding, woodworking, pretty much anything. As it says in my bio, in the description, my goal is to be able to build everything out of anything out of anything. So if you have any suggestions of what you want to see me build, put that in the, the comments. And I'll see you next time.